The company has 1,825 employees. The employees are classified as professional, skilled, or elementary. The following table shows the number of employees in each classification and the two areas, A or B, where the employees live. An employee, an employee is chosen at random. Find the probability that this employee is skilled for part A. So what's the probability? How many are skilled? So 2, 7, 5, and 90. So 3, 6, 5. Out of the total, 1, 8, 2, 5. And part B, live in area B and is not professional. That's the 90 and the 80. 90 and 80 make 170. Again, out of 1, 8, 2, 5. I'm not going to simplify them. I don't have to. So I'll just leave them unsimplified. Some classifications of employees are more likely to work from home than others. So 65% of professionals in both A and B work from home. So 65% of the 740, which is 481. 481 professionals in A work from home and 65% of 380 which is 247 247 professionals in B work from home 40% of skilled employees work from home so 40% of 275 is 110 and 40% of 90 will be 36 5 percent of elementary employees in both areas work from home so 5% of 260 10% is 26 5% is 13 and 5% of 80 is 4. So event F is professional. So event F is professional. H is work from home. So H is work from home. F is professional. And R is area A. So complete the Venn diagram. So the, the middle of all of them will be the H, R, and F. So professionals in A working from home, 481. And then the intersection of F and R is professionals in A. So 740, take away the 481. So 259, 259 professionals in area A don't work from home. And then H was work from home. So we've already got the 241, 281, the, four, the 481, and the 247. 123 is the 110 and 13. So what's left in H? Just the 36 and the 4 which makes 40 and then the outside so not professional not in area a and not working from home so it's 170 take away the 40 that's 130 and we can check on the calculator by adding these up and making sure they add up to the total number of employees. Four one two two five nine one three three and a hundred and thirty one eight two five. So they add up to the right number. 
part D, we need to find the probability of the intersection of not R and F. So not R is anything not in R, and F, so we've got the 247 and the 133. So we've got 247 and, and 133 out of the total, which was 1825. 247 and 133 is 380. So 380 over 1825. E, probability that it's not in the union of H and R. So the union of H and R is all of this, so everything in either H or R. So what's not in that? The 133 and the 130. So the 133 and the 130 are not in it, which is 263. And finally, F, the probability of F given h so we're given h so h is definitely happening that's a denominator so the denominator is 40 1 2 3 2 4 7 and 4 8 1 added together which is 8 9 1 8 9 1 and it's F. So F within this circle. What is F within that circle? 247 and 481. Which is 728.